Okay, I'm going to be reviewing the Tandem X launch set. Um, in this launch set, you've got two rockets, a uh, launch pad, and it uh, comes in this box. I'll just uh, Contents of the box. Okay, so in the package you have the this bag comes with the decals and instructions. It's, uh, body tubes, nose cones. Uh, parts there. Here's the IS Crossfire ISX bag. That's the Amazon. Here we have the launch rod. It's a two-piece rod, and this is the launch pad. We've got the three legs, the controller, the wires, and there's the blast shield uh, underneath. I'll open that later. Careful not to cut any of these wires if you cut this way. There we go, launch controller. Yeah, this is a blast deflector. It's a piece of metal, very important. Okay, got three legs. The launch pad. This is where the legs attach to, and the, the uh, rod goes in there. This is the two piece launch rod. These part like so. See here, it's got a part in the hole on that side. Slide them together like so, gently so you don't bend it. You can just kind of tap it. You got them tapped together. I'm going to look down the length of the rod and make sure it's straight as possible. Okay, I'll set that aside. Here's the rod controller. Again, when you open this bag, make sure you don't cut these wires. controller you'll notice I remove these two screws here and inside you put four AA batteries fresh ones obviously um, and that's very simple actually just four AA batteries and uh, so when you're ready to launch um, make sure the key is in and when the key is in this light will come on and telling telling you that it's uh, You've got continuity. You've got good connection. And then when after you do your countdown, that's when you press your launch button. Off it goes. You now to assemble the launch pad. Notice in the bottom here, take off this tape. And inside you'll have uh, a couple other parts. This thing goes on the top the launch rod, when you're not launching, safety so no one can poke their eye on it and you can kind of see which way the wind is blowing. And then take this, you slide in each 
leg in like so. I like these kind of pads. There's different kinds, but I like these. Like that. And this has a hole for both the 1 8 normal rod and the 3 16 maxi rod, which is very handy to have. So then, take this, slide it through here. You see it's got kind of these keyed holes. Turn it like that. Rod goes in like so. And then in, since this is a regular 1 8, goes in the smaller of these two. The 3 16 is for larger rockets, they take uh, like D engines, things like that. Tighten that down, not too tight. I don't have to hold it. There you go. The pad itself is ready. So on this pad, you need to angle it for wind. Just loosen this little screw, swing nut I mean, and uh, and you can kind of turn it like, you don't want to go any more than 20 degrees I believe it is, but you want to face it into the wind a little bit, you turn it like that and you just tighten that down. Again, not, not automotive tight, just tight enough to hold it. Right, and then Like so. Turn it back. Loosen. Straight up and down. Just like that. Very easy. Another note about these pads is eventually the blast plate will start to look like this. Start to look very burnt. That's okay. That's normal. That's their job. They're supposed to take the heat of the uh, lift off and so they'll, they'll start looking like that and that's that's just fine 